It's so stupid, it's positively brilliant. The brilliant is This, you are so right, man. I want to, uh, I want to talk about something real quick. A cool. Mm-hmm. This has been a pretty cool week for me, but um, that goes along with that perfectly. Reality will always prevail, and uh, I basically, I, I just signed a deal for my first network uh, stand up special. Big Dig Show team building. And Young gonna, Hezzy. Hey man, we're middle age Hezzy. It. Middle age Hezzy. It's so true. It's so true. <laughs> Middle age heavy. Can you say who you signed with? Um, I well, I signed. I can't say the company that that was, is releasing it. I can say the production company that I partnered with, up with it on it and uh, Comedy Dynamics. But I'll tell the story. I told the longer version of the story on on um, Flagrant Two. You guys can check out if you want to hear the whole thing. But basically, what happened is, long story short, is um, when I was releasing Views from the Sis, my last special. Mm-hmm. Um, I was in LA a week before. And uh, I tell this story just because I think it's important to understand your worth, right? And it's like a uh, week before I'm about to release it, um, we get a call from this production company called Comedy Dynamics. And they're like, hey, we want to talk to you. We'd like to potentially release your, your special now. Before that, nobody wanted to release it all, right? I sit down. I'm like, I'm about to release it on YouTube. And they go, don't release it. We'll make you an offer. And I go, okay, it's got to be a million dollars, right? Now, nobody else wanted it, but I put the value at a million dollars. Now, they go... I don't, I don't know about that, but, uh, I th- we think you're great, blah, blah, blah. And I said, that's not totally, I released it on YouTube, you know, theaters, tours start to happen. I have a lot of success. Everything's great. You got hot, son. I got hot. Don't, don't be humble with this shit. Oh, you no. got hot, I motherfucker. Got hot. I got hot. All right. Great. The YouTube numbers went up. You started selling out arenas all over the motherfucking place. You started cool. putting your shit on Instagram. You got hot. I got hot. I got hot out there. So I go do this. It shit was good. I go do this festival called Just for Laughs. I come back. It's good. We get a call from Netflix. Netflix goes, hey, we want to give Andrew Schultz a, a slot in this show called The Degenerates, where I do 15 minutes with a bunch of other comics, also do 15 minutes. Donnell did, did it, you know, and a few other people are focused on it. I wouldn't have did that if I was you. The way I looked at it was this. I go, I go, I put my stuff out for free on Twitter and Instagram and YouTube. Like, I got nothing. Oh, you're right. I got nothing wrong with taking you're right, you're right. 25 grand for, I think they were offering 25 grand for 15 minutes. So we're like, well, I'm interested in it. You know, like, well, um, the next day we get a call from Comedy Dynamics, that other produ- production company. They say, hey, what's Andrew up to? You know, we heard JFL is really good. What's Andrew up to? My agent, TJ, shouts to TJ, was really smart. He goes, he just got an offer from Netflix. He don't say what it's for. He goes, we got an offer from Netflix. So they go, don't sign anything. Let us make him an offer. We'll hit hit you up in a second. We go back to Netflix trying to stall. So we basically ask them for a bunch of things we know that they're not going to give us, right? Can Andrew be the first episode? Can he have his face on the thing? Can he have all this kind of shit like that? We know, you know how the fucking bureaucracy is. They got to go ask a million people. We have a couple of days. Comedy Dynamics comes back with a contract. My agent sits me down. He's so fucking excited. He sits me down. He goes, here it is. Check it out. I look at the contract. The contract is for the next special. It's for a million dollars. For you? For me. Okay. I go, this is fucking unbelievable. It, it, but it's a shame we're going to have to say no. And he, he literally had a heart attack. He was like, what do you mean? Like, we just got it. We, and I was like, well, that's how much the last special is for. Things have changed now. My dick is bigger. The dick grew. The dick grew, baby. The dick grew. Is that all you? This summer dick. Yeah, 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 yeah. I yeah, got yeah. summer dick, yeah. dog. Yeah. <laughs> hey, bro. Yeah. Hey, hey. Yeah. It's all me, dog. Yeah, it's all you. Yeah. yeah. Well, uh, me and the people, you know what I mean? Is that all you? That's right. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. You need the wax line that, damn, that looked big as hell. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, tell me more. This shit excites me. Come on. So. So I say, I say, we got to say, no, he go, what are you talking? What's the, I go, it's the principle. It's like, I don't, for me, it's never about the money. I've been giving my stuff away for free and I'll give it away for free in a fucking heartbeat on YouTube. So you got to tell him no. And he goes, I, I can't believe I'm doing this. So we go back. We say, no, we get the call back a couple of days later and you know, the price went up. Ooh, so who's it with? Uh, Comedy Dynamics is the production company. Okay. And, and then we, it's, so, a ne- it's, it's not. It's a. It's not a network, but it's a. So it's a production company a that, that makes it. No, no, no. That makes it, and okay. then we sold it to a network that I can't say yet. But gotcha, you guys gotcha, will know gotcha. the new in the, in the future. And uh, I gave a hint. Some people might forget it. I can't legally right. say anything right now. But yeah, I gave a little yeah, bit of a hint. Yeah, but yeah, 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 point yeah. is, is that 
like for a while I gave away all my content for free. And I think what happens a lot of times is like you're in this business too. So like we give away so much for free, but just because you give something away doesn't mean it's valueless. Bro, you know? we used to give crack away. <laughs> yo, I'm being honest. Like that, you get crack away to let the fiends know, like yo, motherfuckers got that good ass dope over there. And when it's time to hit them over the head, that's it. Now hit them over the head. Spin. There I'm it is. Little bump. He'll take a little ten dollar bump. Boom. Oh shit. Yeah. And then you come back with crackheads. They spending three, four hundred dollars. Like that's just the, that's the nature of the business. The you got to give out a little free product every now and then. So why you think they be in front of the mall giving out them little samples of cakes and shit? Yeah, like, that's, that's right. Costco, the, the bagel bites, yes. all that shit. So it was one of those things where I was like, this was pretty cool. And then we just had to decide where we're going to do the special. So I wanted to do it in LA and I thought it'd be really cool because I see as the Hollywood, you know, matrix is kind of crumbling. This becomes one of the first, if not the first special where it's like completely people driven. It's like the entertainment revolution where mm -hmm. now you got to have your fan base and your fan base is going to bring you on top. Like the people listening and watching all these podcasts and clips and everything like that, they literally got this deal signed. And they love you in a different way because you built this cult like following from the ground up. These motherfuckers have been. They built listening it. Listening to Brilliant Idiots for years. Yeah. You know what I mean? Watching Guy Code. Like Yo, these motherfuckers that probably was fucking different. with you six, seven years ago. And they're like, that's our guy. That's, bro. And, and, when you win, it's their win. And I never understood this. Duval would always post about it. He's like, yo, my win is your win. And I didn't understand it. We released the tickets for the special tapings. We're taping April 11th in LA. And I gave a pre-sale code. And the pre-sale code was going to be available Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. This comes out Thursday today. And I just wanted it to be for Flagrant 2, Brilliant Idiots, and then anybody who follows me on Instagram, YouTube, so they would know about it. We're doing it at the Orpheum Theater in LA. That's the theater Dolomite shot at. Mm -hmm. you know the one the final scene where right, he goes right, right, and I'm doing right. it for that reason because I love everything that he represents he mm -hmm. fucking went to the people when is it? April 11th I'll be there I, I would love you to be put there put that on the calendar and the, we released the tickets pre-sale and they sold out in 12 hours both shows mm. wow this is a massive theater bro wow I could not fucking wow. believe like I was like crying on the street like a bitch but like a bitch outside of this restaurant that's that I was having. Crying. Yeah, not, eh, you're crying like a fucking man. You're crying like a Bro, man. It was, you're crying like a man who put the motherfucking work in and now that work is paying off. Son, and the crazy yeah. thing about reality, right? Yeah. That's why I say you can't argue against reality. The yeah. crazy thing about reality is you get back what you put the fuck out. You've yeah. been working. Yeah, yeah. You got hot. So now you're getting your fucking just dude. That's what yeah. the fuck is going to happen. Yeah. Always. Yeah. It never fails. There's yeah, not right. one person I know that has talent who Puts worked work motherfucking in. hard yeah, and did yeah. not get something back out of it. Yeah. Mm. You got your just due. It just felt amazing, man, to like... It feels surreal. It felt surreal to have that many people want me to win and like people want to fly there for that experience and feel so invested in my success. It was overwhelming, dude. Like, because it could be lonely, the business, you know? And like, when you realize yeah. you have that many people rooting for you and like, Bro, it just, uh, yeah. That's what, this it, is, yeah, this is the time when you got to really put your helmet on and really grab your motherfucking arsenal. Because when you're so used to fighting, right? Yeah. And now you finally got what you've been fighting for, you're like, I'm not used to this feeling. Yo, but. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Low key, do you know, you know what you're it, still shooting. No, what it makes me do is like, for me, I cannot wait to deliver the fucking best performances in my life. I can't life. wait like, to shoot. I cannot wait. Yeah, it's, you can't it's, wait to fucking it's shoot. It's a different. It's a different fucking feeling, man. I'm like hungry for it because I know it's something that we all built. And it's like, when you put the bricks together, uh, you know, for your own house, yeah. it's different. You're not shooting from a place of defense. You're shooting from a place of offense. This is what we're doing. We dictated this now shit. You got, now you got to defend what you built. Yes. That's it. And it's like, ah, man, I'm just so excited. And, and just to let you guys know, if you uh, we're going to try to add another show, maybe that Sunday. And um, I'm talking to production about or maybe try to find more seats or whatever like that in it. But uh, so so if any of you guys are just hearing about this now, we could make that happen. But just keep, keep, you know, tabs on Instagram, Twitter, whatever like that. I'll probably post about it. But it was I'm proud it, of you, it, man. thank you, man. I'm I, thank proud you for everything, bro. I really appreciate you and just like giving me access to so many of your fans and like I don't got nothing to do with this. No, nah, you do, man. You played a, a, a huge role in all of this. And it's like, I am forever grateful. And, and and it's one of those things that like I've tried to pass down as well. It's like, I recognize, and I see you do this a lot. You're like, if you see someone with talent, you'll give them an opportunity. And they got to run with the opportunity yeah, first. Absolutely. But you will give them an opportunity. And it's like, 
that's some, you know, people always say, well, you know, Schultz, you know, Schultz got Charlemagne, this, that. And I'm like, yes, but you will have a Charlemagne. Somebody will, if you're good, someone will recognize Absolutely. you and 100%. they'll give you a fucking alley-oop and you got to go with it. You got to run with it. And it's like, I feel, I hope that, I, f I hope you feel like I ran with it. And I, and I, obvious, I did but, to and the I, best of my I always yeah. tell you the best thing you have done is pay it forward to other people. Yeah. It's really important to me. Just don't do stop doing the podcast because this shit about to be worth so much fucking Son, money. I, I, this to me, bro, I, that's, the, <laughs> that's the announcement too. So, so there's announcement too, right? Okay. For, we've been working for a while. I've been working for months on this, but I just built out this new content you know, factory in, in Brooklyn and it's got, you know, multiple podcast studios, like a little live performance space. Like it's, I mean, it's got the green screen. It's got everything that we need to keep like churning out content. Obviously I know it's far away to do idiots there. Mm -hmm. We should have our own space for idiots, but it's one of those things where it's like getting an opportunity like this with the special allows me to reinvest in these studios and like be Absolutely. able to put out all this shit. And it's just, um, it's just, it's just dope to be on the forefront of creation and like, especially in entertainment and like shifting entertainment. You know what I mean? It's just like everything we're doing is disrupting. It's rebellion. And like every 100%. rebellion or like revolution, it's the same thing. It's the people. The people decide they're fed up with the regular shit they're being fed. Yes, indeed. And they rock with people who are giving them the shit they want. And it's just so cool to be. I am so excited. Yeah. I am so excited for 2020 to 2025. Yeah. 2020 to 2025, y'all motherfuckers is going to see some shit that y'all have never, ever seen before. Yeah. And you're going to see it by all the motherfuckers that you never thought you would see it from. What do you mean? What do you mean? Us, nigga. Oh, okay. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> okay.